going on guys? Welcome back for another episode of Survival Mobile 10,000 BC. Alright. Let's go ahead and get our rewards here. Hopefully we got some kind of good, decent events going on right now. Alright, so like they got another update that came out. And I'm seeing the turtle. Looks like it has a different upgrade. Or a different, um, thing. All right, so we got that. Um, let's check our roses. See what that's gonna consist of. See what it consists of. Eh. All right, so we got some troops made up here. Now, I like the little claiming stuff, but they really go overboard with this. Alright, so we definitely need to keep on keep on upgrading. Now, I think we're, gr we're growing kind of slow, but a lot of people say that we're not. They say we're right on point, right on par, guys. Okay, so I gotta keep on doing this. This is the part I don't like. I don't like going to do the, the quest there. Alright, so let's see. Let's keep on making our troopers. And we ran out of resources. That's fine, though. That's fine. Event center. Let's go back in. Purchase packs. Send Valentine's Day gifts. Um, this is free. Oh my God! No, it's not. <laughs> Could at least let us send some roses or something like that to people. All right. So let's go immolate. And we really need to get some stuff going on here. Energy recovery. I'm not really struggling on energy. Just the actual troop. Oh, out of resources, man. Come on, guys. Look out for us here. This is not cool. Now, we've been storing a lot of our resources in our um, clan storage house, which is good. Um, we do need to do some upgrades along the map. But before we do that, Let's see what we have from the studio. Because I know they did an upgrade. Alright, so they have... The Valentine's Day is coming. The whole continent is filled with sweet smell of roses and chocolate. Alright, romantic event of Valentine's Day will help you express your love. Event 1, rose gifts of Valentine's Day. During the event, chiefs can collect roses of different colors from Rose Garden. Each Rose Garden can be visited only once. Related rewards can be claimed if you have collected a certain amount of golden roses. Rewards will be obtained when the rose is consumed. Consuming orange and gold roses, there is a chance to get a special item, which can be sent to the chiefs on the same continent. Um, the one who receives the chocolate will get charm points when the event ends. The top 10 chiefs of charm points ranking will receive a special avatar frame of Valentine's Day. Permanent. Nice. Event 2, Carnival of Valentine's Day gifts. Every chief that fights side by side with you is precious. Um, packs any purchase any packs during the event. All members in the clan will receive a gift of Valentine's Day, including items and roses of different colors. That's not bad. All right, so let's see. We got Valentine Feast Pack includes Valentine's Day exclusive decoration um, and massive chief XP. Will let you level up immediately, faster and stronger. What? Huh? First time you purchase a Valentine Feast Pack, you'll receive Valentine's Day exclusive chat bubble permanent. Uh, purchase Valentine's Feast Pack for the second time, you'll receive Valentine's Day exclusive turf nameplate for permanent. Okay, the pack is a flash sale. Don't miss out. Okay, that's actually pretty decent right there, guys. All right, so somebody bought your clanmate bought um, clam newbie gift Valentine's Day that's cool somebody bought appreciate it all right so congratulations you got number two rewards in clan points ranking and Viper striking event nice I've been attacking these things so who's beat me on this I used to get number one all right we received chocolate from the animal your charm points increase by one give back man chocolates you have is not enough 
Okay, so we'll give him back once we get to that point. So hopefully we can get him some uh, stuff because he's a really cool guy. Give a shout out to my, my buddy, the animal. All right. Um, can't spin anymore. We got some skills though. Ho ho. All right, so defense. We got HP, return. So we definitely need to hit harder, but we also need some resources. So we need to make sure we can beef up our resources. Um, what do we have? Food. This is food production, wood production. I need to get the um, collecting speed. So we definitely need to get to that. So we're gonna stick with that probably. Or we can do, um, speed training of all troops. I need that too. So let's get that, learn all that so we can train troops faster. Increase marching speed when attacking Viper Elite. Marching is good too, but we don't really, we're not really marching slow. So we definitely want to get our gathering speed. So we're going to start chopping that down a little bit. And it's going to make the game a little bit easier for us. Alright, so Glory, let's go ahead and claim those 500 diamonds. So we're doing pretty decent there, guys. Just don't have a whole lot of uh, resources. Because we've been spending them all up. Alright, so we're doing a decent job there. Um, all right, so that's that, and, oh, let's see, so we got decent turf there, in the turf, we got more people to join, looks like, got some more clan mates, gotta love it, guys. All right, so let me see. We could probably get... Let me see if we can kill a 13 yet. If we can kill level 13 Vipers, man, we're going to be sitting pretty, guys. And this is how I do it, guys. I just straight up attack Vipers. That's why I always get the rewards. But somebody took my number one spot. And I'm using number one. Always. Always number one. So... Let's see. Want to do a quick one here just to see what we need to do. I just want to know if we can kill a 13. If not, hey man, no harm, no foul. So I see everybody scouting and marching, and everybody's pretty active. Let's go ahead and give everybody a shout out. Let's get this out of the way. I would tell them they're on YouTube, but I won't say it. Not this time. All right, so we got another 17 seconds until we march to that Viper. We got to get these higher Vipers killed, man. We got to get this. And for sure, we need to do some farming on the food. But we need to keep on killing Vipers so we can um, get more more uh, talent points there. More talent points, the better. Excuse me. All right, looks like we didn't get it. Does not look we did. Yep, failed. All right, so... Strengthen your troops and challenge again. That's what we're trying to do, man. These Vipers are tough. Vipers are super strong. But yeah, this is a very high graphic game. Look at the look at the details, guys. It's amazing. Alright, so what we're gonna more than likely do, we're gonna keep on killing those level level twelves, and then we're gonna go right back into farming. Because we gotta get a lot of food. Like, everything takes, all these upgrades take food. And I don't think we're upgrading anything right now. Do we have a builder? I'm not buying anything. Yeah, we got a free builder just chilling right now. It doesn't have anything going on. Path of Prosperity, we need to emulate one time. We did that already. All right, so, uh, let's see. Yep. Let's go ahead and get our wall durability up. I don't know who attacked us. Well, that's the, the Viper stuff. Alright, cool. So we're good. So 
I'm going to get this going here. All right, so uh, let's get those vipers. Get those twelves, and then get the farm in here. Let's go kill the grandpa vipers. Vipers. But yeah, we don't want to go too far. We're only town hall fourteen, so I would assume that around that range, we can only kill a you know twelve to fifteen ish. If we had some more more viper or more troops there. Um, these guys do march kind of slow, so I guess I do need to get that speed up a little bit. Um, I might need to do my talent points over again, to be honest with you guys. Doing the talent points over wouldn't be a bad thing, so let's go ahead and use our active skill. And it's going to do all that right there. And we do this, and there we got twice the resources basically, guys. Yeah. So let's go ahead and heal up these troops. All right, so that doesn't that's not too bad. All right, so I think we I know we killed the viper. I'm not even not even doubting that. Yep, victory. So we got 1000 food and chief experience. Um but we need to really go with our skills. We need to up redo these things again. Um Talent points. I don't know if we can Reset. Oh, we can. Reset all skill points of the current panel. So you need to learn the skills again. So what I definitely want to do is get more into the farming because um, increased capacity of the cave. Increased food production. Collecting speed. Yeah, we definitely want to do that at some point. I think I'm going to go ahead and reset that. Um, doesn't sound like a bad idea. Sounds like it's gonna be a pretty decent deal. So we're, more than likely we're gonna do that. All right, so. see what we need to get town hall 15 not that i'm trying to rush but we definitely need resources so we definitely need the wall and the traps mill so we need 2.5 million wood just to get that we have everything else so definitely gotta get the farm in here guys definitely need to get the farming so i think we're okay on the fight as far as killing things I just think our resources suck right now. So let's get right on in there and get that um, reset going. So let's go ahead and reset our points. Because right now we have all our more, most of our points into um, support talent. Which support is good. But we don't need to do... The training speed is not really speeding up at all. Um, Voodoo Lounge Capacity, we probably do need to keep that. Support is good, but I think we need to probably take points out of the combat. <coughs> now, I like to have my troops come back, so we're going to go ahead and reset. I want to try something different. So let's reset all that. Let's get our building upgrade time. Um, reduce emulation time. Makes all your resources yield five hours. We're gonna turn into farmers, basically, guys. We're gonna make our farm, make a, a farm account, basically, for now, so we can upgrade faster. Um, increase capacity of the cave. We don't really need that right now. Um, we need a bit of fight, of course. Um, capacity of marching load. Definitely need to get that. Um, let's. Viper's marching. So we got 28 more points. Let's go kill a... I want to see if we can still kill. As long as we can still kill these level 12 Vipers, I'm down. Alright, so... <clears throat> let's go to it. Hopefully we can get it. If not, we just need to keep our points. Where they're at. So I think we're going to be able to do more yield. Because I think right now we're just... We're, I don't know. These, these resources suck. 
So it's going to take a whole minute to march. So let's go right back into the talents and see what was very essential right now. Um, if we can't kill a 12, we're just going to put our points back into where they are. But I definitely want to get that food. <clears throat> um, stone production. Um, energy recovery. I don't really need that. Energy recovery. Don't need that too much. Single troop training. That would be good. Um, training of all troops. Definitely need to get that sped up. <coughs> Let's see here. So. Hit points is good. Recall is good. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let's get defensive upgrades. So do we get it? Oh, it looks like we won. We still won, guys. All right, so that's a victory on the Vipers. So that's good. We're going to do that, and we're going to put the rest of our points elsewhere. So right now, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, guys. Thanks so much for joining me here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I know I enjoyed making it. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Like, comment, share. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.